Hello, everyone. And my technology presentation is on the BrainPop website. So BrainPop was founded in 1999 by Dr. Avram Kedar. Typical concept to his young patients. But today, it is a trusted learning resource, um, supporting core and supplemental subjects, reaching millions of learners worldwide. Um, they are expanding their learning tool and helping kids create, construct, and collaborate as they explore um, the world today. So this tool basically is, to me, a preparation tool. It helps um, teachers, educators, families. It helps you make connections or add on to the lesson or topic that you are teaching for children to have better understandings of what they are learning or what they have learned or should be learning. So it's a preparation for what comes next. Um, it helps plan for tomorrow's lesson. It enables collaboration and personalized learning. It helps explain difficult subjects and helps students make connections. Um, it shows us that play, which because it has millions of games, it shows that play can lead to learning and it makes an impact on all students. So, um, Brain Pop is basically, it's a playful educator force, educator force, playful educator focused, reflective, and global website. It is playful because it has engaged in learning games, animated movies, and activities. It is designed with relevance, depth, and humor to encourage kids on the unique learning path. It is educator-focused where it supports teacher roles and the needs of class classroom-optimized tools like games, assessments, um, workshops, and things of that nature. And it's shaped out millions of hours used by students and teachers in diverse learning settings. It is very reflective because learning is made visible through tools that challenge students to reflect, make connections, and engage in deeper curiosity-driven learning. It is global because covering universal topics with localization for major world languages such as Spanish and French, and it's mobile-ready. You can use it on your phone, laptop, iPad, and it is accessible worldwide. World, world, oh, I hate saying that word, worldwide. So this um, this website is in three languages, which is English, French, and Spanish. Um, to me, that is a, a con because um, if we have parents or other adults or even children that speak other languages besides those ones, that puts a barrier on it. So... I felt like it should come in other languages or they should work towards having it in other languages. Um, so Brain Pop um, is a, it's basically to me a simple approach to make learning stick. Um, it boosts achievement um, and it has a secret where um, you can watch movies. Like most children don't watch movies to understand things. They just watch it because it's fun to watch, but the movies and activities um, is very interesting, it has a sense of humor, and it's very creative. It helps build students' core knowledge. Um, the movies and characters make the most complex topics interesting and easy to understand. There is a check for understanding when we are doing topics in this, um, on this site, um, you can use a quiz or a challenge to see how well the learner is going with the information and reinforce learning with additional activities. And it also demonstrates learning. So you can choose from a library or educational game to build higher order thinking skills and deepen learning. Um, so they have two different types of plans. So they have a family plan and they have a homeschool plan. Um, and you actually have to have a plan to have it. So if you are an educator, most likely it's free for you. 
because you'll just use your school code or your school information and you can connect for free. But if you do not have that, um, if you do not have that, then you can have a family plan um, where your child is doing at home as um, movies and quizzes, um, the, the brain pop combo goes by $159 per year. The Brain Pop Grace 3 to 8 goes up to $129 a year. And then Brain Pop Junior, which we would, that would be the one we will focus on because we are early childhood. It is $119 a year. If you do not want to pay yearly, um, Brain Pop Junior K to 3 will be $14.95 a month. Um, yeah, and with the family plan, you have access to the movies and quizzes, access to Brain Pop mobile apps, access to the learning games, personal, um, also a personalized goal tracking system, and you will actually have access to two children profiles, so up to two children profiles you will have access to. And if you are homeschooling your um, child, it is more based on hands-on teaching, so you will have access to all of those things, but the difference is you will have access um, to one teacher account and four student profiles when you are doing homeschool. You will also have um, a full teacher dashboard with assignment tools and access to professional development resources. So now, um, actually, I wanted to say that it has different, many different sections in Brain Pop. So you have Brain Pop, Brain Pop Educators, which is for us teachers. You have Brain Pop for English language learners. You have Brain Pop for Spanish. You have Brain Pop for French. You have Brain Pop Junior from K to three. You have Brain Pop Science. And then you have Brain Pop from three to eight years old plus. So now I'm going to share my screen so that I can show you guys how to, um, how to, use this tool. I'm going to guide you. Let me share my screen really fast. Okay. So this is the site. Once you get into the site, once you are able to access the site, this is how you get into the site. And you will have very much different. So if you go here, you go to discover, you have K through three, science, health, reading and writing, social study, math, arts and technology. Then you have, for the schools and districts, you would choose Brain Pop K through eight, Brain Pop ELL, Brain Pop Science, lesson planning resources, professional learning services, research and efficiency, and a finding guide. And then for families, you have Brain Pop Family, that's what I was just explaining, and then the homeschool, um, um, and you can get up to two weeks for free, and then you can go by the plan that you have created. So once you get into all of that, you'll get here. You'll pick a, a actual topic. This topic, I pick science, because that's what I mostly use it for most times. And when you click on science, you have all these different topics that you can use, okay? So, for example, I'm going to click on plants. We recently just did plants. So for plants, you have different things. George Washington Carver, forest, living and non-living, parts of a plant, plant ad adaptations, plant life cycle. And you will just pick on the actual topic that suits you and that connects to your lesson. So then when you get here, you can teach the topic. You can actually look at their lesson plan and try to connect it to yours. Or you can just use your lesson plan and make a connection to theirs or however else it may be. Then you could create a quiz based off what you want the students to learn and understand. So they have a video. I'll play some of it for you. Sorry. Oh, maybe this one isn't, um, because I'm not signed in. This one isn't free. But you will play the video. You will play this video, and this will give you information about part of a plant or how a plant is created or things like that. They have um, it animated for the students. You have close clap captions on the side settings, and then you can make it full screen. Um, and then down at the bottom, you have the transcript. You can print a notebook of the information that's needed. And then the kids can take an easy quiz, a hard quiz, make a map, creative coding, word play, draw about it, write about it, uh, cut an activity, 
belly up, talk about it, or they can even pop a joke. And then at the bottom, it always have topics that relate to the main topic that you clicked on. So let's pick on easy quiz. Actually, let me go back because um, I have to go to one that is, let's go back. Mm, let's try social studies back. Um, and then we're gonna do biography. So we have Ruby Bridges. Let's do Ruby Bridges, for example. So as I told you, all of these coming through, and since this one is free, I'll play a video for you. So it will have this type of video. And all videos, or most videos, is with Annie and Moby. So that's Annie and Moby. And they're talking. So as you can see, the video will give you the information needed to, oops, sorry. It will give you the topic. And then once the child or the students have listened to the video, watched the video, can you can Okay. What is the reason why Bridges is a role model? And then you'll pick. Um, if it's correct, but if it's um, let's go. Also, it also has a quiz, make a um, make a map, write about it, draw about it, cut an activity. I'm sorry, I said cut an activity. As an activity, write a poem about her. So then they have this type of worksheet that you is printable. Um, so everything is really here. Wordplay. Oops, sorry. We have wordplay. And it'll give you a vocabulary of words that, this, um, that you can play with, explore. We have segregation, so you can explore this word with a drawing, use the word in a piece of writing, or ask the word out. So everything is there for you. Like, literally everything is there. Um, it has a lesson plan. You can create your own quiz, pop a joke, all of the good things. And then at the bottom, it has related topics, so you can always move on to well, the Parks, Martin Luther King, or even Jackie Robinson. So as we come to the end, this is um basically how to maneuver the the website. Um, and at the bottom, you can visit all the different ones, subscribe to the site, and learn more about the site and the research that it comes with. And I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. And that's pretty much it. This is it's a tool. We use it a bit. Um, the only that uh, only in two other languages. I feel like they should put our languages. Um, and they everyone should the other people should sit to really help students development. Um, make thing way fun way more fun okay so listen and see you on the next one